Okay, I'm going to put some cheese over here before I put my scrimps in. I know I already cooked that some, so it don't have to cook as long. Now this will be my bottom layer. The stand is hot. This will be my bottom layer right here with the strump juice. Now I'm going to pour a little bit more strump juice on here. This is taco shell. A little bit more. I don't need that much juice for these strumps. These are my strumps to make my tacos with. That's why I need all that extra juice, guys. So that I can do this here. Now I'm going to take this here. I'm going to put this here on. But first, I'm going to get my strimps. My jumbo strimps. While you guys was away taking a break, I shelled them. I took the shells off my jumbo strimps and I cut them up. And now I'm going to throw it. The pieces all around in here so that you can get a piece of shrimp in every bite. You want some shrimp in every bite. I want to move this around some more with my spoon. Oh, yeah. It is spooning it up good. I'm going to show you guys how it look, okay? I don't even have to move it around with my spoon because we got spoon on every bite. You cannot get a bite without a scrimp. No, sir. Let me show you. Just give me a second. How you like that? Shrimp and everybody. Now we're gonna put our top layer on. The top layer is this here that we took from the shrimp and lobster bait box. We're going to take it's two pieces, so we're gonna take one side and put it on top of here like this. Stretch it out. Put all our goodies over there on it. Then we're gonna get this layer over here and stretch and put it over there too. We're gonna put this one here on this side. I think we got enough cheese. I don't want to put no more cheese on it. Now let me show you how it's looking. That's how it's looking. Now I'm going to put a piece of foil paper over it and put it in the oven and let it cook at 400 for about 20 minutes. Okay. Let me get me some foil paper and put over it. Four paper, four paper. Heavy duty four paper. I got one heavy duty and one that's not heavy duty. Okay. Now I took a whole head of lettuce 
and I peeled off some with well, the first part I threw away and then the, the next part I peeled it off I washed it and I laid it on paper towel so it can dry now this here is how you do your lettuce if you do your lettuce like this and never use a knife to cut your lettuce your lettuce will not turn brown It'll be a long time before it turns out. Use your hands and tear your lettuce up. Peel it off with your hands. Use your hands. Tear your lettuce up. Do not use no knife. Wash it piece by piece. Pat it dry with a paper towel. And I guarantee you, your lettuce will last for a long, long time. That is the secret to keeping lettuce for a long time. That's one of the reasons why I like to buy my lettuce already shredded and stuff, because they be using knife, and that stuff turns brown. When I do my lettuce like this, my lettuce do not turn brown for a long, long time. Sometimes I done had a, a, a head of lettuce in my refrigerator for over a month, and this still did not turn brown. This is another piece that needs to be dried. Take it piece by piece. It take a little time, but you save your lettuce and you save money. Because your lettuce lasts for a long time. Now you can do it like this here. Put it in a container. Put a top over it. And you can just go in there and get you some whenever you want to. It will not turn brown. And the, the lettuce that you tore tore this off of, it would not turn brown either. Oh yeah, put that in the freezer bag. Do not put it back in the container that they had it wrapped in. Put it in the freezer bag and put it in the drawer in the bottom of your refrigerator where vegetables are supposed to go. Nice and dry. If it's not, just let it lay out for a minute. Add will dry. Just gonna leave that open for a while. Okay. Now I'm waiting on my lasagna to get ready. And I'm almost through here. I'm going to be washing my dishes while my lasagna is cooking. Okay. This here is a corn, soft shell, turkey, taco, but it's flat. And then there's another shell on top with some spinach, lettuce, and cilantro. 